Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. In WordPress, a bidirectional relationship is a concept used with Advanced Custom Fields plugin to connect two different types of content. It allows you to establish a connection between two pieces of content so that each one knows about the other. In this video example, let's say you have two custom post types, audiobooks and book authors. And with a bidirectional relationship, you can link a book to its author and vice versa. And this means that from a books page, you can easily access and display information about its author. And from an author page, you can see which books they have written. This ACF Pro feature is particularly useful for organizing and presenting content in a coherent and user-friendly manner. So now I go ahead and I delete everything that I've got set up here and I will be recreating this for you. I have two custom post types created with ACF Pro plugin, Marketing eBook and Camino Island. Each custom post type has associated its own advanced custom fields and one of them is bidirectional relationship field natively built in in, a in ACF Pro wherein I have associated the book author to. So we can say that the author of this book is Isabel and this is the ACF bidirectional field. On the other hand, if I open up the book author custom post type you can check that Isabel has written the marketing ebook. You can check because the font color is a little bit lighter. And what I want to show you now is how to set this up. And then we will jump into Bricks Builder in order to create a query loop to display at the front end. And if you need assistance with ACF plugin and want a custom field tutorial, just let me know in the comment section and I will create a video example for you. So I have the same field applied on both custom post type. And to set this up, I have the audiobooks fields and the book authors field. If I open the audiobooks field, you will see I have this relationship field to connect them together is very straightforward. All you have to do is to head over to the advanced tab and then turn this on. And once you turn this on, you then will need to select the target field who, that would be the other one associated with, with book authors. And this way they know about each other. And now we need to do the same thing, but for the ACF bidirectional relationship. So I open the books author field and under this relationship field, you go to the advanced, you activate, and then you select from here the target field. And we are creating a two way street between two types of content content to display related information on your WordPress website. And now at the back end of your WordPress website, you simply assign the book with its author. So I open the audio book, you search here from your WordPress database, the text or the author you want to define it to be the author. Uh, marketing, you select and you can remove it by clicking on this minus sign and you update. Afterwards, you should do the same for the audiobook custom post type so that the information stays connected and linked together. I really hope it makes sense for you. And now we proceed into the Bricks Builder interface. So I will create a section template. So access Bricks templates. I click to add a new one. I call a tutorial from the right sidebar, select it to be a section, publish and edit with bricks. I'm not worried about the styles and configuration settings. I just want to show you this concept. Under the template conditions, I determine it to be a post type and then in the post type easily enter the post type name audiobook and then just enter a few characters and the populate content I selected to be a single post 
and I enter the single post. Click to apply changes, Rix Builder will reload and now we are ready to start building the query loop. So I drop in a section and inside the container I add in a block. Inside the block I insert a post title. Immediately we get the marketing ebook title and this is dynamically generated. Then I drop in the excerpt. This one I enter excerpt length to 50 and then I insert finally the rich text block wherein I will pull in the ACFB bidirectional relationship. So delete this, you don't need it. I insert some, some words in a strong format and it's easy to set up this inside the rich text block and then select this dynamic content icon and under the ACF section locate your book author relationship. Now for the query loop I will use the block element and I want to turn this to be a query loop so turn this on and for the query the type is posts and the post type I specified my, my two custom post types audiobook, book author and let Bricks Builder make the magic happen for you. You could configure it further however I just want to showcase the concept and how to set this up in Cybrix Builder so that you fully understand it. I enter here four, four posts per page because I know I have only four posts. We have a list of the authors. This is my first author, Kyle, and we have each one with its own book. And the other two items, this one, are the two audiobooks and each one is listed with each book author. And that's it. The next thing you should do now is to watch this next video you are viewing on the screen right now to learn how to create a dynamic read archive template in Bricks Builder. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this and please like the video. It helps me a lot on YouTube algorithm.